Welcome to another software overview where I show you programs you may not know exist or show you little uh, Easter eggs and programs you may already use. And today we're going to be looking at a Quake style uh, console that you can install called Yaquake. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, so you may be familiar with Xterm or console spelled with a K for KD desktop or the GNOME uh, console or I use Terminator. Uh, but if you want a cool little shell that just pops down from the top of your screen when you press a button, Yaquake is one of the options you can use. So it should be in your package manager and your repositories. So on Debian based systems such as Ubuntu, Linux Mint or, you know, Debian, uh, apt-get install Yaquake and install that. I already have it installed, so I'm going to start it up just by typing Yaquake. And once I have it running, the first time you run it, it will pop down and ask you what you want the default key to be. Uh, I've set mine to F7 because the default is F12, but if you uh, use your console inside a web browser such as Firefox or Chrome, uh, F12 is usually the default for that. I set mine to F7, so at this point I can press F7 and I can have a shell drop down at any point. I can run a command in there and I can hit F12 again to make it go away. When I bring it back up, the shell's still there. You can have multiple shells going, so I can, you know, list out files here, go back to the other shell here so I can switch back and forth. You have lots of options. If you click here, you can go into your configuration or shortcut keys, which is where I change uh, it from F12 to F7. If you come in here and type in open, you can see the shortcut key for that you want globally to open and retract the Yaquake uh, console. So you can click in here, click custom and tell it what key you want to press if the default F12 is not what you want. And so I just thought I'd share this little piece of uh, software with you. Yeah, Quake again should be in your repositories as always. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that uh, if you did, that you, you like, subscribe, share, and comment below. As always, I thank you for watching. Visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris of the K. There should be a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.